researchers with Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary are studying a concept from the world of sports in the hopes that it will one day improve surgical training. The phenomenon of quiet eye is a common trait of elite athletes that refers to their focused gaze just prior to making a critical movement such as a shot. Besides being a universal characteristic of expertise, quiet eye can also be taught, helping bring about rapid improvements in performance. These are called corneal reflection eye trackers. Uh, they're light, they're mobile, they're, um, the optics are mounted on uh, very light uh, goggles. When we fit it to Dr. Snellgrove, right, it snugs down just like any pair of sport glasses. And so this camera here, the, the, the eye camera, is recording uh, the eye off of the backside of this monocle, which is a reflective mirror-like monocle. And this camera here is recording the scene. So the way to think about it is that you're putting the eye of the individual in the scene. Then the optics on the system actually record within a half a degree of visual angle exactly what the person's looking at. Researchers have recently shown that highly experienced surgeons exhibit the same quiet eye behaviors during surgery as elite athletes do in competition. The finding holds promise that quiet eye training could help surgical trainees become experts sooner in their careers. What we found from our research is that um, experienced surgeons look in a very specific place when they tie knots. So they look right where the knot is going to be. And the reason that's important is because if you're not concentrating there, you could be pulling on the structure, putting stress on it. And while this is just a rubber tube, if it's a, a blood vessel, a delicate vein or an artery, uh, you may tear that if you're not paying attention. And so um, when, you're, when an expert surgeon is performing this skill, despite what their hands are doing, they're looking right here. And so they can continue to tie knots, but focus on where the knot is going to be so as not to put undue stress. And what we found was when we took novice trainees and showed them this, they very quickly picked up the skill, paid attention to here, and despite the fact that they weren't looking at their hands, so this was all happening kind of in the background of looking at the knot, their knots were better quality and they performed better. Surgical training in North America was sort of formalized back in the 1800s by Dr. William Halstead. And it was essentially an apprenticeship model whereby you'd find a mentor surgeon and follow him around for a number of years until he decided you were qualified to operate independently. Something in particular that, that's been extensively studied is the quiet eye, which as Dr. Harvey mentioned was discovered right here at the University of Calgary by Dr. Vickers. We predicted that expert surgeons will exhibit similar quiet eye characteristics to expert athletes. So we hope the main benefit will be that we can use the quiet eye videos and software and training that has been pioneered on elite athletes to train surgical trainees, novices, residents, uh, to become safer, more efficient surgeons uh, on a quicker learning curve.